Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lisa. So, um, I feel horrible because I haven't uploaded a new video on YouTube for at least like a month or something. And a new video um, is going to go up on my free app. Earth to Lisa, which is on iPhones, in probably about, I'd say like five more days, and it's going to show everything that I've been doing, um, a show in Aruba, did radio, appearances, magazine photo shoots, everything, so um, I just thought I'd say hi and hello because I haven't seen you guys up close and personal and uploaded anything to let you know what's going on. So, um, just letting you know, a new video is coming up on Earth to Lisa, and um, right now I'm getting ready because I'm going to go get my hair and makeup done with Miss Idaho, because I'm doing a performance for Music for the Cure and Miss Idaho, so I'm in Idaho right now. Look. I'm in my hotel room, and um, I'm getting ready so you can see firsthand. Um... So, you guys, there's like a million questions that I've been getting, actually, like a million of the five same questions, and those are, which I will answer right now, trying to figure out my pants real quick, um, what does La Puccinetta mean? And I will tell you right now. The LA stands for, uh, LA, the town that I'm from. Um, ooh. <laughs> ooh, La Puccinetta. Um, the Pucci stands for, it's like a slang word for the girl that's at the party that like, you know, all the guys kind of want, but they can't really touch, which is kind of fun. I always wanted to be one of those girls and be really, really popular and fun, but I was never a popular girl. I was always the weird girl that didn't really have any friends and like... I was kind of a loner, for sure. Um, and that, that, that is a slang word that a wardrobe stylist used to call me. And she was raised in Hawaii, and they called Netta like the tomboys. So I put it all together, La Puccinetta. There you go. And then, um, another question. What is in the future? What's next? What's next? What's next for me? Well, you know. I'll tell you one thing, like winning um, America's Next Top Model, the All-Stars even, it, it doesn't really mean anything unless you have a lot of drive. If you have a pretty face, that's great, but guess what? My face is not the prettiest face in the world, so when you guys all call me ugly and gross and, you know, fucking whore and all this stuff, first of all, I'm none of those things, and, uh... I've been modeling my whole life, and I've actually been told that since I was modeling in high school. The girls, the girl, the cool girls, used to come to school in like when I was a freshman in high school and bring like the magazines I was in, and at lunch hold them up to everybody and be like, "Look, look, look, look how ugly Lisa looks, everybody! Look how fat and ugly she is." Guess what, guys? I guess that was just setting me up for all the cyber hate that is going strong these days and guess what my ass is laughing to the bank so I get the last laugh they even said it and I'd be like whoa, whoa. <laughs> so anybody else that gets a lot of hate and criticism um, seriously keep your chin up because hate is gonna hate and people are always always gonna have an opinion and you know it's really easy because as, as soon as they show themselves as being haters or super judgmental or superficial or whatever, they're writing themselves off that way. I mean, you don't want to be one of them because do you want people to look at you like that? Like if you're just superficial and you only care about what's on the outside? That's not cool. I wouldn't want to be one of them. And besides, they should be thanking me because I'm constantly trying to blaze a path for all of us for, so that we can all, so our culture and our society can evolve and everyone can be appreciated for being individuals and, um, you know, all power to that. I mean, don't, don't people get sick of being boxed in and being judged for dumb reasons? I mean, everyone should be able to follow their dreams without being completely 
sabotaged for it. You know, the haters just kind of suck. But guess what, guys? It doesn't really matter what they think because those aren't the ones that are going to pay your bills. You know, the ones that you really need to impress are the ones that um, have been through the same thing and are successful. So keep your chin up, guys. Um, and last thing. Um, so people keep saying, so when is the Vogue Italia coming out? When is the Vogue and Beauty cover and spread coming out? When is the Express coming out? How come you haven't been on Extra? How come, when's your Vogue Italia blog coming out? Okay, so you guys, seriously, follow me on Twitter because I always make sure that I post everything for you guys so you're always in the loop of what's happening. I haven't shot the Express campaign yet and I think I'm doing that in April, which is in a few weeks, so I'm super, super excited. Um, and then the Vogue Italia, both magazines, the, the Beauty and Vogue and Vogue Italia, they come out in May and June. I don't really know which month is which, like which one comes out first, but I will keep everyone posted in May. The first one comes out, so just uh, keep following me and I'll keep you all in the loop. I swear, I just want everyone to um, see that you can do it through me. You know, I want everyone to be ex inspired to follow their dreams because it's a long road and it's really hard and it's really tough and so most of the time you can't really see the light at the end of the tunnel and trust me I know I know what you're going through I know um, oh last question um, oh fuck I forgot uh, uh, well anyways look how blonde my hair is y'all it's really short and really blonde you know what they say, after you dye your hair really, really blonde, then you go for the super big tetas. No, 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 not me. I'll just start reading bigger books. Yeah. All right, so um, until next time, I love you guys. And remember stay positive stay genuine to yourself oh here it is the last question was what i thought of season 18 the um the british invasion i think it's super cool i think it was rad when i went on the all stars and we did the makeovers i told jay i'm like i want blue hair or make my hair purple or pink or whatever and it was like lisa that's not high fashion the first photo shoot was jumping pretty interesting I think that they must be having a blast I know that if I was on 18 and I got you know crazy hair and I got to be super charismatic and outgoing and jumping all the time it would have been a lot of fun so um, I hope that they all got to embrace it and not stress too much over it and um, yeah all right y'all oh in the future I'm, I'm of course working on television a lot more tv because i love being on tv it's fun i've been working on a tv project for the last going on i guess three and a half years now so <sighs> working on that and then also a new sound a new album is coming out i've been in the studio non-stop and that will be ready by the summer so it's pretty exciting um so until I talk to you guys next, where's my jewelry? Um, stay tuned, and I love you, and uh, yeah, wish me luck for my performance. La Puccinella, oh! Bye, guys.